Hello. So today, I wanted to show some things that I've purchased recently. So what started this whole um, journey, this search of things that I wanted to buy, was I realized I'm totally unprepared for summer. It's getting hot, it's getting humid. If you know anything about J Japanese summer, it's horribly humid and just like a mess to get through. And I realized, you know, I, I'm so unprepared. I have nothing because I don't like summer, so I have like no summer clothes. I wanted to try to find summer clothes that I feel good about instead of just feeling like I have no style all summer, you know what I mean? Because I, I love layering, that's really where my, my style comes through, is layering, accessorizing, stuff like that. So in the summer, I'm just completely lost because I'm like, I don't want to wear a t-shirt, I don't like wearing tank tops, I don't really like wearing shorts, so I'm like, what do I do? So I went down this rabbit hole journey and pick out stuff for summer that I can feel good about. So I wanted to show some of those summer clothing purchases plus other things that I've bought recently. So first on my list is actually what I'm wearing right now. This zip up hoodie and this hat. I got these from secondhand stores. Most of my clothing, I think everything I'm gonna show you is from secondhand stores. Some of it I purchased myself, some of it my boyfriend bought and then gave it to me because he realized he didn't want it. But basically it's all from like secondhand stores. So this zip up hoodie and this hat. Um, this hoodie, uh, the brand is like moss something, I don't know. It says something about surfing, I don't know. I liked the colors, I like the fit, it's really small and lightweight. So I can wear it in the summer like without a shirt underneath and I think it's like fine. Probably not in like July, August, but for now in like May, maybe June, it's okay. And this hat is from Beams store in Japan, but it was, I got it like secondhand, so it was not expensive because that store can be like pricey. But I really like how it's kind of distressed and like bleached, but it's like plaid, I don't know, I think it's cool. I like these together, the green. I've been getting a little more into green recently. I like how it can be a cool pop of color. Speaking of green, leads me to the next item. This duffel bag. She's huge. She's the mother bag. It's giving me Charlie XCX Brat album cover, like the color. And also it's huge. I don't have a duffel bag, so I've, I've actually been wanting one. So when I saw this one, I was like, okay, I can, I can work with that. It has a lot of storage and stuff. And I put my little Marumofu Beauty keychain on here. So there she is. And she holds many secrets, so. Okay, let's get into her tea. I'll set her down and pull things out as needed. First, actually, so I have my my rings that I like to wear on this hand. I now have these. Get into it. There's a Sanrio ring gachapon machine. Actually, in February, my boyfriend and I did it, we both got my melody, but I I really wanted him, I really wanted Kiki, so I tried, and I got Pom Pom Purin, and I just thought, okay, let me try one more time, and I got Kiki, finally. So, and there they are. So, those are my send real rings, but my main focus when searching for clothing right now was buying stuff for summer. What kicked this off was this pair of shorts, actually. And this is a pair of shorts that my boyfriend bought, but then I tried them on and I liked them, so he let me have them. I really like them because they go down to like my mid-calf. I don't like wearing shorts that are like above the knee. I just don't think it looks right on me, I don't know. So I like the vibe that these give. They're kind of like capris in a way, but like a little higher than capris, you know? And also they taper in near the bottom, like when I wear them. They're like, they're not like baggy, you know? They're kind of like sleek fitting. 
So I really like these. I like the color. As I said, I've been getting more into green. Yeah. So I really like the fit of these. So I wanted to find more shorts that had this kind of fit um, so that I could wear more shorts this summer. Next, I found another pair of shorts. And these were also thrifted, like from a secondhand store. These are a little longer than the last pair I just showed but I really like them still and I like the color because it kind of it looks a little like denim so that's really easy for me to style like even with this I could have worn these today but they are a little longer than the green pair but that's okay they still look cute and again they taper in near the bottom so they're not like wide baggy looking you know what I mean they still fit cutely so this summer I will be having these heavy in my rotation, I'm assuming. Actually, with these sh these green shorts, I love to wear this hat. So this hat was my boyfriend's, and he actually bought it during winter. Obviously it has fur on it, so it's like winter. But I don't know, something about fur in like spring summer vibe, I think is cute. I don't know, so I've, been, I've actually been wearing this. And it, it's not like hot. I know it has fur on it, but it's not like hot on your head. It's just like there. I actually wore these together in an outfit with this next shirt that I'm going to show, which is of course a sketchy Duval button up shirt. This one, it's on a white button up. It has some thin stripes. I made this shirt last summer and I wanted to put a blood splatter in the middle. Like, obviously not real blood, but I wanted like a red splatter right in the center so that it would look like a blood splatter on a shirt. I thought that'd be a cool design. Um, but I ended up not doing that and then my boyfriend kept the shirt and now I just, I think I'm gonna leave it like this. I'll probably do the blood splatter shirt sometime in the future, but this one, I actually really like it, how it is. So yeah, I wore this hat with this shirt and these shorts. And yeah, it's a cute, cute little fit. And this was actually the outfit that set off my whole summer wardrobe refresh vibe that I'm on right now. Because, you know, I, I love dressing up, I love feeling cute, and I want to feel cute in the summer. I don't want to feel like I'm not giving in the summer, you know what I mean? Summer is the last season I need to conquer, so I'm going to conquer summer this year. Another unexpected summer clothing item that I've been wearing, and actually I wore it with the outfit that I just showed, are these shoes. Here they are. They are platform Crocs with fur around the ankles. Um, these are my boyfriend's shoes. He bought them during the winter, but of course I've been wearing them in May for some reason. I just think they're so cute. I love wearing platform shoes because it reminds me of Kingdom Hearts. I love looking like a Kingdom Hearts character with like the big shoes and everything. So I've been wearing these a lot. I, and I like wearing these with shorts or with pants. I think they're cute either way. And lastly for clothing, another of the same green color, but this time it's a jacket. Now, I think this green color is really my summer 2024 color. Here, it's kind of like a, not really a military jacket, but it has some cool detailing, like the pocket flaps, zippers, um, some flaps on the arms and stuff. So it doesn't look, when I wear it, it doesn't look really plain. It has some cool details that I think elevate it a bit. I like it because it reminds me of Bella Swan, but it's like a little more edgy, cool, fun Bella Swan than just like drab. Bella Swan, you know what I mean? Lots of green, dark greens and neon greens. I'm really getting into it, you know? I think I'm realizing that green can be good on me. For a while, I just did not know how to wear green, I think. So I avoided it, but now I'm realizing, okay, I can actually do it. So there she is. That's it for the clothing items. Last, I just have three dolls that I want to show. Um, so, first is this little girlie. I got her in a 
crane game, like UFO claw game at an arcade. I think she's so cute. I love how in detail her face paint is. Like she's she really has actual like detail in her face, even though it was just like a crane price thing. And I love these little buttons on her dress. She's so cute. So I had to get her. I'll probably just display her in my in my house because I don't want her wig to get tussled by like being clipped on a bag. The packaging said her name is Laura, but I don't know. I think I'll name her Haley because she has red hair. And so anything with red hair, I just call that Haley, like Haley Williams from Paramore. So here's little Haley. Okay, and next, I'm really excited about these. I bought two Pinky Streets. Here they are. So if you don't know Pinky Street, it was a Japanese toy line, toy brand in like the early 2000s. And they just made these little dolls. Every single part of them is like mix and matchable. Like you can take off the hat, the hair, the clothes, the skirt, the pants, and switch it around. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven Pinky Streets. These are my eighth and ninth. And I think after this, I'll be good for a while. Um, it's just that I really wanted this one. I've been wanting her for like months. And every time I went back to the store, I would check if she was still there and she was, but then I would just never buy her. But I always wanted her because she's an artist and she has a sketchbook. Okay, there was a show when I was a kid called Work of Art, The Next Great Artist. I was obsessed with it. It was an artist reality competition show. On season one, there was an artist named Peregrine, and she literally looked like this, and I, I really liked her. And so I've been wanting Little Miss Peregrine for a while. So I finally just got her. I was like, you know what? I've been, I've been wanting her for literally months. Let me just get her. And she was still at the store, so I got her. And then I got this girl. She's like, I think she's a character from something. I. I don't know what it is. It says, it says Sakura o something. It must be an anime or something. I don't know. If, I don't know what it is, but I just think she's really cool. Because most of the Pinky Streets are very cash, but she's like a cool character. I like the ones that are like different than just like the casual ones, but I do have mostly the casual ones because I like the the fashions and then I like the poses of the different ones you know so it's fun to mix them together so I will be swapping them out displaying them figuring out where to put them with all my little dolls and stuff that I have and actually I mean this was a recent gift from my boyfriend Monomofu Biori keychain uh, because Sanrio right now is having the character voting popularity contest so at the Sanrio stores they have merch of every character so this is like the only time that I can find stuff of Marumofu Biori so I got my boyfriend got me this little keychain and I put it on my Charlie XCX Brat duffel bag so that was everything I bought recently to prepare myself for summer I'll probably still buy some more stuff uh, I, I really want to do a closet refresh, get rid of some clothes, shirts, sweaters, stuff, pants. I have too many pants that I don't wear. I need to just refresh, sell things, and really update my closet. I need to really rethink what I own. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm starting with. That's my jumping off point for summer. If you have any tips on things I can style for summer, like hot weather, clothing that's still cute, let me know because honestly it's very new to me like when i was a kid actually my whole life kind of i've just like denied summer i would wear black i'd wear jeans i've never liked wearing shorts i've never liked wearing tank tops i just i've always kind of denied summer's existence me and summer are not friends but now we're trying to become acquainted we're trying to be cordial at least so um i'm making the effort i really want to put my my foot forward and um you know conquer this summer with servitude that's what i have today i hope you enjoyed seeing a little of my recent purchases like this clothing haul type thing thank you so much for watching uh, i hope you are handling this season change well 
I know for me it's always a struggle when the season changes because I wish it could just be fall all year, but sadly that's not the case. That's not the planet we live on. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed and until next time, goodbye.